Hello guys and welcome to Klaus Gaming. Today we're going to check out the game Her Story. I saw this game on Steam and it looked very interesting. It's something I haven't uh, seen before. You play a detective and you have to figure out what happened in a murder case by interrogating a woman. This is an indie game. It's also available on iPad and iPhone. This is the Steam version though. So let's check it out. So this is the UI right here. It's a very old computer screen. Let's push the search button. So here we have four videos. Let's watch the first one. Corner store clip. So I guess we could put some user tags in if you wanted to, but let's uh, watch the video. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? So that's a British woman being interrogated. Let's watch the next clip. Yeah, that's me. But February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? So we got our name there, Simon, and we got a month. Let's check the next video. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. So here she claims to be not guilty. Let's uh, put that down as well. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other, All right, so she said something about a lawyer and a murder weapon that we don't have. Now, I'm not exactly sure what add to session does, clip stored and user session. I just wanted to make sure that it saves the tax. Let's see. Yeah, it just saves the tax anyway. Let's uh, search for Simon. She mentioned Simon. There's a lot of videos about Simon. Let's check one out. Let's play this one. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Alright, so his name is Simon Smith. And he works at hmm, Ernest Windows and Glass. I guess <laughs> I don't really remember, remember exactly. Um, let's watch the other video here. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. He's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. All right, so let's tag that to Simon photo. Let's watch the next one. It's the Rockington Arms, The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. All right, she said a lot of stuff there. Let's just take it with Helen and a bar. Something we need to search on later, I guess. Play this clip. Yes, there's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, try and tell her, save the princess, that kind of thing. And Amstrad, that's an old computer. So that should probably be evidence. Let's play this clip. 
Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? All right, so Simon has no enemies, according to the woman. Here's a readme text. <laughs> Introduction to the logic database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The logic database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize a workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be most valuable item in a crime-fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime table archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in the words into the search field. Yeah, we already figured that out. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so you can narrow the search by using multiple words. I guess that's neat to know. So you can type in, for, ex for example, robbery, supermarket. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. Okay, that's also useful. To store, uh, that's a little bit like searching in, in Google in a phrase match. To store a clip for later reference, click Add to Session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click in the User Tags box and type in your desired tags. I already started doing that. I figured that was a good idea. Um, for any further assistance, please contact your department's information technology representative. All right. <laughs> really? Read me text? Hey, that's the database. I filled the Freedom of Information form to get you, uh, you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos of the original tapes in 1999. Okay, so the story takes place in 1999. And then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage and possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. But figured this would be enough. Take your time. It's also a rubbish bin with heck <laughs> NFO in it. Yeah. Mirror game, cyber ghost. <laughs> One for the mums here. Classic two player strategy for lunch game. Yeah. Nothing there. Mirror game. It's a little uh, extra game there. I think that's everything. Of course, we can log off. See if there's anything on the desktop DB checker. It doesn't seem to do anything. It's a clock. All right, let's uh, continue watching the videos. Let's try and type in his entire name. That only returns one video we already watched. All right, so there was some uh, there was some uh, names here we probably need to search for. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. It's run by a nice couple. Rockington Arms. That wasn't helpful. Let's try some, listen to some more. It's the Rockington Arms. So we can uh, go back and forth in a video clip up here. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the bar they're having sometimes. Helen. Helen? Let's try to search for that. Here's an, uh, another video. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but... I'm not sure what else he said. He likes heaven. He likes blondes. All right, so maybe he was uh, cheating on her with Hill because he likes blondes. Um, so that is some kind of motive, I guess. All 
Um, did she mention other names in the previous clips? Let's check. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there. Let's try and search for Peter and Susan. We already watched that clip. Ah, uh, nothing. Uh, so this is a dead end, I think. Transfers for February. Here's another clip. Let's play that. Well, I don't know. I probably had to pop out and get something. That's why I was speeding. And that wouldn't have been noted on my timesheet. But I really can't remember back to February. All right, so she was speeding in February. I don't know if that has anything to do with the murder. What else do we have here? Let's try and search for a lawyer. There's a lot of clips here. Let's watch the first. Can I leave? Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. All right. <laughs> she's not cooperating. I don't think she's told us anything useful there. Let's watch the next clip. Yes, I understand my rights. No, I don't need a lawyer. That's a very different tune from the other clip. Let's watch this one. Yes, no lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? Well, murder, um, murder weapon, let's search for that. There's nothing. Let's see what we have in the query history here. These were the four initial clips. Why is this blank? You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Well, let's uh, search for help. Wow, there's a lot of clips here we haven't seen. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job. He didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at The Rock. That's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. He just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard him either. All right, so she mentions someone named Eric and she mentions Friday and Sunday and The Rock. So I guess um, this would be the putting together a timeline about the murder from all of these uh, video clips. Let's watch the next one. Sure, yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? I can make sure that I'm there. All right, let's just tag that as house for now. No, he doesn't keep a diary. That's my thing. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember since I was a girl. It helps make sense of my day when you're forced to put something into words, it just gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. All right, so she keeps a diary. That would be a piece of evidence if you could find it. So what's the next one? 
Diane is really nice. She helps out with the glaziers, organises the Christmas party, that sort of thing. They have two kids, really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. Yes, yeah, so she mentioned Diane, right? And some other activities, but let's just take it as Diane. Was that the correct name? Diane yeah. is really nice. She helps. Let's uh, watch the last clip here. She changed up her hair as well. When you've been married for 10 years, stuff accumulates. We could argue about anything. And he's so nice. That doesn't help. He tries to smooth things over and that just makes it worse. We're both passive aggressive, so we never normally argue directly about anything. All right, so the two passive aggressive persons arguing in their marriage. Um, so let's search for Eric. There's a few clips here. He was wearing um, a shirt with a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat, a long grey duffel coat, black pants there. Uh, he would have taken that with him, it's not in the house. Alright, so Eric is Simon's boss, I guess? Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked in the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Alright, so they own two cars, a Cavalier and a van. Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a Visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. Alright, so he has a Visa. Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? All right, so Diane is uh, Eric's wife. So let's search for her name. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time, he must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. So she claims to be in Glasgow at that time, whatever that time is, and she changed up her hair. Let's check the next one. Not really. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come in for dinner. That would be us returning the favour. Diane is a really good cook. Into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef. He got the recipe of seed facts, and I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? No, we don't eat green things if it's green. All right, let's check the next one. Sam and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing, and they get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But I don't know. You should ask Diane. All right, so they were arguing. Oh, there's a lot of uh, keywords in this. Um, let's see what we picked up. Oh, yeah, they have a cavalier. And a van. 
just try filling just for fun. Um, let's uh, see what we got from Eric. That's blank. Friday, Sunday, the rock. It's a visa. Search for that. That yielded nothing. Glasgow, she mentioned at some point. Here's a lot of stuff. Let's check that out. I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north. Just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. So she drove all the way to Glasgow because she was so tired and had to sleep and she was also speeding at some point. So maybe she did do the murder. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone and then Back. All right, so that's a uh, payphone. So that might be on the records. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. I don't know what she meant. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. All right, so taxi, pregnant, and hospital. Those are the keywords for that. And uh, that completes uh, this first look at her story. And I'll continue later. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all later.